Welcome to Electrocute, where we share some of our favorite products for your wearable and craft projects. I'm Dia, Sparkman's textile specialist. And I'm Nick, creative technologist. And today, we want to share the WS2812 LED, commonly seen in addressable LED strips, breakouts, and NeoPixel products. WS2812 LEDs have a built-in IC, so you can control a potentially enormous number of them with very little processing power. They also run at 5 volts and they can be daisy-chained together, so hookup is simple. There are so many WS2812 products in our catalog. Rings, matrices, strips, tapes, and individual pixels in both standard and lily pad breakouts. That we didn't want to demo them all, but they all work and code the same way, and all of them offer the same beautiful spectrum of RGB light. We also have a great hookup guide, which we've linked below, that includes all of the different form factors of WS2812 LEDs. It also has a link in it to Adafruit's excellent code library. Our projects also use the Dead-On RTC, which is a real-time clock that's counting down the minutes to the new year for us. These LEDs are a real showstopper, so we thought there was no better time to showcase them than New Year's Eve. But they're definitely the perfect product to turn heads at a prom, performance arts, or any application where you need bright, colorful lights. We've integrated our WS2812s into formal wear for our party. My dress uses LilyPixel individual breakouts. And my blazer is lit with addressable LED strips. Both garments are controlled by a LilyPad Arduino board, and the RTC module is keeping precise track of the current time. At 10 seconds until midnight, both garments are activated. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two one. Happy New Year! If you have any questions about this project, or want to suggest a product to see in a future video, or just want to know why Dia's been wearing an engagement ring for the past three years of projects and videos, Drop us a line in the comments and we'll get back to you either there or at the beginning of the next video. Thanks for watching!